we're going to walk through the process of selecting all the features within a particular polygon and then we're going to change the values of those features to match a particular value within that polygon. So in this case I have a number of polygons that represent districts on this map and so you can see these blue uh, rectangles here each one of those is a district and I want to select all the features within this district here and make sure that the district field on each of those features matches with that district. So let me go ahead and start the process off by first selecting this district uh, and polygon. So you select the polygon first and so you can see that this says 41 Eaton. That's going to be our district that we uh, want everything to belong to. And so uh, in order to select everything very quickly, I can go into the uh, map menu here and say select by location and under input features this is going to be all the different feature classes or layers that you want to uh, select features for so I'm going to go and pick a few here I'm not going to do all of them but I'll do a few so I'll do wire banks and stations so all those features will be selected once we've completed that process relationship I'm going to select uh, completely within so the one thing to, to note on that is that means that the feature has to be completely within the polygon that's selected. So that will work great for stations and banks and devices and things, but for certain things like uh, a wire or pipe, that could actually cross these district boundaries here. It could cross into another one. So you may have to uh, go along those borders and just make sure that those uh, features have been changed. Or you could try experimenting with some of the other options here. Uh, just to keep this simple and give you the basic idea, I'm just going to do a completely within search. Selecting features. So this will always be the polygon that uh, you're searching within. So I'm going to select boundary in this case. So that's the, uh, that's the layer that this belongs to. You can see that here, that the, uh, the polygon is a, a boundary. And so uh, search distance, we're going to leave that blank. And selection type, we'll leave that at new selection. Invert spatial relationship, we'll leave that unchecked. So then you just click on the run button and it will go through its process and you can see it now it's selecting all these features here and so if I scroll through I can see I've got a whole bunch of these selected. Now to make this really quick and easy I if I want to do a bulk change I can just click on this uh, the layer here this represents all of those features that I have selected below so if I click on that and I just simply go in and change this to the uh, the district it belongs to then um, it will save all those changes I have it set to auto apply so it'll, it's doing that right now and I can keep doing that for the rest of these as well so I could do the banks and the stations very quickly using that same approach so if I wanted to I could also do these one by one if I wanted to double check the values I can go right through here it's like oh there's one that uh, isn't doesn't have the right value so I can just go and change it so I can just keep on clicking through the list and making changes as needed and so uh, that's the basic process um, if you do have construction units associated to that you may want to run uh, reports that we have available to allow you to determine if the construction units don't match the district on the feature uh, in case those also need to be modified